Morning. I've worked it out. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get this zip up because it's a little bit cold this morning. Happy 1st of July, wherever you are. It's uh, the first, no, I won't say that. Yeah, the first day of the second half of the year. That's a good way to put it. And so I've worked it out. Today's Monday. Yesterday, I wrote a little plan of what I have to do for, for this upcoming week. Right? And now I figured because I don't really have a set schedule, I have to be firm. I was going to say really strict, but I don't like that, that terminology. Firm on how I spend my time. So I've worked it out. I, at, on Sundays, I'll write down a list of, of some of the major points that I need to get done in the following week. And then on the morning of the actual day, I'll write down on the whiteboard what I'm going to do for that, for that day, for that particular day. I think that's a pretty good schedule, don't you think? Or a pretty good uh, system. So mornings, I'm gonna spend an hour reading, an hour riding, I'm gonna ride my bike to the cafe, and then afternoons, I'm going to do client work. Well, at least that's the case for Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Thursday to Saturday, I haven't quite worked out yet, but we'll figure those out as, as they come along. Riding done. Do I have helmet hair? Let me check. Well, it's not that bad, actually. <laughs> now, it's time to do, well, actually, I'm gonna have lunch first, and then we'll do a few hours of client work, and then it's workout time. Morning. You know, there's no better feeling than coming to the end of the day and erasing all of the checked off things. It doesn't always happen, but it feels good when it does. So it's, it's like a note to self. Do this as often as possible. So today's gonna be the same thing. Morning, reading, riding at the cafe. I'm gonna ride my bike. In the afternoon, we'll do uh, some client work and probably a workout. Let's ride. <laughs> Writing done, reading done, I finished. Hold on, let me get that. I finished the 100 page machine. Can you see that? There we go. The 100 page machine learning book. It's a great read actually. It's, it's actually 130 something pages, so the, the title's a little bit of a lie. But this is the kind of book I wanted, or I wish I had when I first started the machine learning. I'll be doing a review on it on, on the channel at some point. There'll be a link in the description as well. You can, you can pick up a copy. It's like a read. You can read it for free, but if you want to buy it, you can buy it on Amazon. But yeah, it's a great book. It's now time for me to eat and then we'll do some more client work. <laughs> Another epic day, it's gonna be the same again. We've got the ritual, wake up, whiteboard, cafe, write, read, lunch, client work. That's, that's a pretty good, and look who we got here. This is my number one supporter. Hey, Sam. Hey, 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 what's over here? <laughs> Morning kisses. All right, time to work. Done, reading, done. Now, time for some client work. Morning. Now, I'm not riding to the cafe this morning because, happy birthday, mum. Happy birthday, thank you. <laughs> How old are you today? Uh, <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Oh, um, <laughs> but we're reading Deep Medicine. I'm gonna do some reading, some writing here. We're going out for breakfast for mum's birthday in a little bit. So that's why we're staying here. All right, reading done, 
Writing done. Breakfast done. Tick. Happy birthday, mum again. Love you. I wanna show you something that I've, I've sort of left a note for myself on my whiteboard. I kind of use it to, to talk to myself about what I'm doing just to, cause you know, I can get lost in thought, but I get found in the words. That's a, that's a funny little saying that I like to use. Now, let's see, can you see that? There we go. Here's how I'm running the show at the moment. I have to ensure cash flow in the short term as well as building slash learning for the long term. Building, by building I mean building a product or building my skills, learning, same sort of thing. And here's another little note. You have to keep learning and you have to keep creating. I've added this little creating because if you spend all your time learning without creating, you'll have all this knowledge but it's not utilized. And so they're the two main principles that I'm using to run my business. Now, I'd like to introduce you to the Daniel Burke School of Business, but I have to get some paper, so give me a sec. All right. Sharpie, the Daniel Burke School of Business. Now I thought about drawing this on the fly, but I figured it's way easier to just draw it and then explain it. And this is how business works from the Daniel Burke School of Business. So we've got here, this is you, this is your product or service, and these are people and more people, uh, and potential customers, right? And so you're here, you create a product or a service. Now how do you do these two things? Well, this is where the keep learning, keep creating principles come in. You have to learn something, AKA a skill, and then create something with that skill, and then trade that skill to people so that they trade you money. This is business in a nutshell. And you do not have a business until you have a paying customer. So this is a paying customer, this is a paying customer. Now the key thing here is to remember is you're not targeting everyone. So you're not necessarily aiming to get these two people, right? The internet has made it so that if your product or your service is good enough, the people who want it will find it. So how should you spend your time? Well, if you're creating a product or service and you're making it online, now remember, there's a, a thousand different ways you could start a business, but this is for online mostly, because that's, that's how I'm doing mine. You should spend 80% of time, can't spell time, on these two things, right? And then 20% of your time should be driving traffic. So what do I mean by this? Well, again, because of the internet, these people who want to pay for your product will be able to find your product or service if it is good, right? The way the internet works is the best things go to the top and the worst things kind of drown out because there's so many good things on there. So this is why you should spend 80% of your time making your product or service really, really good and then 20% of your time telling people how good it is. Class is missed. Now, I don't know whether that was cool or lame, but if you want to see more specific videos on how I'm running my business, I'm more than likely going to make more in the future. Well, I, well, I am kind of, that's part of the, part of the whole business loop. Anyway, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Otherwise, speaking of keep learning, Fast AI just dropped a new course, Deep Learning from the Foundations, which I am incredibly excited for. And so you can see here, today we're releasing a new course taught by the legend himself, Jeremy Howard, Deep Learning from the Foundations, which shows how to build state-of-the-art deep learning models from scratch. And essentially, that is another principle of how business works. Find the most basic foundation, foundational principles and apply them well to a, to a certain problem, aka bring value to someone else. So I'm gonna be going through this course. I think there's five lessons on the deep learning foundations. And then I'm really excited for Swift for TensorFlow. Why? Because you can use Swift to build products. And that's what I wanna get into. App development or web development. I haven't quite decided exactly what yet, but I'm probably gonna to sway towards Swift, which is more so iOS development. Stay tuned for more. Anyway, I gotta get into the new course. We'll see you soon. So I'm halfway
halfway through this lecture, I'm going to take a break, which will probably involve just walking around and maybe just doing nothing for 10 minutes, come back, finish the rest of the lecture, and then, yeah, go through the practical stuff. The way I'm going to work this whole thing is I'll aim for a lecture a week and homework per week. So seven, seven lectures, that's seven weeks. Watch the lecture first, then go through the code. T. Mm. Let's finish this fast AI lecture. Good morning. <laughs> Today's much the same as the last few days. Start off the morning, writing down a list of what I need to do. Read, write in the morning, kind of already done those, gonna do a bit more writing, but I've got a professional photo shoot in about 10 minutes. I need a, I need a professional photograph of me for one of the projects I'm doing. So I've got someone to help me out with that. I have to clean my room. This afternoon, we're we'll back into Fast AI and Swift study. Got to clean. <laughs> What I'm doing at the moment is going through the Fast AI first first lecture slash homework. It's about matrix multiplication, essentially building a neural network or a deep neural network from scratch. And of course, that all begins with matrix multiplication. So I'm refining, going through the original Fast AI notebook on GitHub, making my own version of it. So basically replicating it. And then I do a little thing here where I do uh, I, I write the function, but then I do it myself without looking and that's how I practice and I keep doing this Can you see that? Yeah, I keep doing the without looking part until I get it right and So again some amazing takeaways from the fast AI course I'm gonna wrap this video up here I reckon because I think this week has been jam-packed reading writing client work learning creating I'll be back next week same sort of style of video. I got an idea for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a weekend, Saturday. I want to do a project. I'm going to do a project. Weekend projects. That's what weekends are for. <laughs> anyway, next week will be business as usual. Building a business. Keep learning. Keep creating. That goes for you too. See you then. I've got to finish the rest of this homework.